Today, we celebrate the partnership of two great organizations, Marion Catholic High School and the National Football League. Marion Football has been an institution in the South Suburbs for 55 years. The program boasts a 1994 state championship, 1999 state runner-up year, and a 2000 prep bowl championship, in addition to 20 state playoff appearances and seven, seven conference championships. For decades, the Marion Catholic football program has produced strong young men who have gone on to great success in sports and in life. Many of these athletes were able to play the game at the collegiate level. Four Marion Spartans have been blessed enough to make it to the highest echelon of professional sports by suiting up in the National Football League. As part of the nationwide kickoff to the Super Bowl 50 celebration, the NFL has launched the Super Bowl High School Honor Roll Initiative recognizing schools and communities that contributed to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl history and positively impacted the game of football. High schools across the nation and around the world will receive a commemorative Wilson Golden Football for every player or head coach who graduated from their school and was on an active Super Bowl roster. Today, we are proud to receive a Golden Football from Marion Catholic High School alumnus Mike Fryer. Here to tell us about Mike is Coach Matillo. In addition to serving as Marion's athletic director, Coach Matillo led the Spartans as head coach from 1976 to 2012. He is one of the winningest coaches in IHSA history. He is also the member of a Marion Catholic Alumni Association Hall of Fame, East Suburban Catholic Conference Hall of Fame, and was named Frank Lee Prep, Prep Coach of the Year in 1994. The football field at Spartan Stadium is named Matillo Field of Design. Please give a warm welcome to Coach Matillo. Good morning, and I can't think of a more fitting way to kick off homecoming 2015. In the next eight or ten minutes, it is my hope that you will learn of the journey of Mike Pryor, his versatility, his commitment to excellence, and his competitive nature. But before I get into that, I would like to take just a few short moments to recognize a couple of individuals. Coach Bob Bergstrom. We're fortunate to have some other members of the 1980 football team. Some of the finalists will start out with Doug Molsky, who's a tight end. We have the entire backfield here. We have Greg Murray, the tailback, Jimmy Schreiber, the fullback, and we have Coach Tom Klubchuk, I mean the quarterback, Tom Klubchuk. Mike is a graduate of St. Kieran High Grammar School in Chicago Heights. Something you might also understand, he's one of four individuals who have a claim at the national level. Tim and Dennis Kelly are both in the NFL. Tim is a coach with the Houston Texans. Dennis is a uh, player with the Philadelphia Eagles. And it also sports the alma mater of Melissa Gurgle, who's an NCAA pole vault champion and is currently training for the Olympics. She was just here this week. Mike Pryor entered Marion Catholic in 1977. You might say that he became an instant All-American male. He played football, wrestled for Coach Bob Bergstrom on the varsity, and became a member of the baseball program. He was active year-round, performed well in the classroom, and did it all with the respect and great demeanor of a leader. Mike continued his excellence throughout the next three years, culminating in a senior varsity campaign that sported an 11-1 football record and a loss in the semifinals of Class 4A. Mike was selected as an All-State football player by the Champaign News Gazette, and it should also be noted that Mike Pryor, in the fall of 1980, was selected as one of the only offensive and defensive members of the All-Area team for the Chicago Heights Star. Mike was also a sectional qualifier in wrestling and an outstanding performer on the varsity baseball squad. Mike's journey next continued as a student athlete at Illinois State University. During the four years that Mike spent at Illinois State, he managed to letter in football for four years and in baseball for four years, quite an accomplishment. 
During his football career at Illinois State, Mike was a four-year starter, was named three times as a Kodak All-American, became noted for his interceptions, of which I think you have 23, and also, I think, still holds some punt return records as a specialty for Illinois State. And that was further honored by having his number 15 jersey retired by Illinois State. Mike also excelled on the diamond for the Redbirds, retaining numerous batting records for that university. Mike Pryor was also presented with an opportunity to play Major League Baseball as he was drafted in the fourth round by the Los Angeles Dodgers in 1995. Mike was the seventh round pick of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 85, continuing his quest for excellence, playing safety for the Indianapolis Colts from 87 to 92, and culminated his career with the Green Bay Packers from 93 to 98. It was with the Packers that Mike Pryor participated in two Super Bowls, being on the winning team in Super Bowl 31, 1996. Today, Mike Pryor is a member of the Indianapolis Cathedral Catholic High School football coaching staff, who, by the way, have won five consecutive state championships in Illinois. A true tribute, just adding to the legacy. Quite a journey by quite a human being. It is my pleasure to turn the microphone over to the most accomplished athlete that has ever represented Marion Catholic High School. Please welcome Mike Pryor. I don't like that, so I can move my hands a little bit stuff like that. I love talking with my hands, but no, thank you, Coach. And I just want to thank Barry and Kat. You know, everything started here. Your foundation begins now. You know, uh, trust it, believe in it, you know, enjoy it. Uh, I mean, it's great to see a bunch of the class from our class of 1981 here. Uh, it just, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, my daughter, Chris. I was gonna try to be good with you, but no, it's, uh, oh, you know, I always wanna get back with Mary, you know. What I learned here, you know, what I did, great coaches, uh, I can't believe it's been, you know, you know, 50 years ago ball. It's uh, 19 years ago, I guess I played that Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, it's one heck of a feeling. But it's always great to come back where it started from. And that foundation was here, so uh, I'd like to present you gold ball. Coach Bertram, I need you up here. Coach Bertram. Coach Bertram. Coach Bertram. Coach Bertram. I need you up here. I always go around. Up, hey, doing well, doing well. Well, as we, you know, two of my favorite coaches, they both deserve the ball. So, uh, here we go. Coach Bertrand Patillo, thank you. 